All right guys, so today I'm gonna to be showing you how to do rear brakes on a 2014 Hyundai Elantra. So like always, the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and take loose the two back caliper bolts. The cool thing about these calipers, is unlike regular calipers that just push in, these are called ratcheting calipers they actually twist and push in at the same time. And look, there's little pegs inside and you can get the special tool to do these brakes at any parts store. Basically, you take your tool and you line it up with the pegs in the caliper. And then you, while you twist it, you have to compress the caliper. And you want to always make sure those pegs are in the same place as they were when you first started. Otherwise, it won't work properly. All right, now we're going to go ahead and take off the back bolts that hold on the bracket. Just like any other car that I do brakes on, I strongly recommend changing the hardware just so the pads don't stick inside of the hardware. Just like this one is. See, you can't physically move it. So what you're gonna have to do is take your hammer and just tap it out. And we can go ahead and change the hardware. sometimes get stuck together apparently inside the packaging. When this happens, you give up and go home and try again tomorrow. There we go. Uh, yes, it's over there on the Dodge. And like always, we're gonna add a thin layer of loop on the hardware and the slide pins. And then we gotta take this rotor off. And these rotors actually have two screws that hold it on. The problem with these is you can't take a normal screwdriver and just turn them because they get seized over time and just don't want to turn. So what you gotta do is hammer it and turn at the same time. And they come right out just like you're supposed to. So now we gotta take off this rotor. We can come down here, grab our new one. Now the only difference between these rotors and other rotors is you gotta line the holes up from where the screws grow. It's the holes on the rotor or the hub. We can go ahead and take our screwdriver Put these two screws back in. The 
they don't have to be too tight they just have to be in enough that they don't catch on the hub of the wheel itself because then when you bolt down the tire it doesn't seat properly and you risk losing that tire so now we can go ahead and put our bracket back on it's two 14 millimeter bolts Go ahead and put our new pads on. Yeah. We slide our caliper back on. Then we put in the last two 14 millimeter bolts. Tighten those down. all there is to it. That's how you do a brake job on the rear brakes of a 2014 Honda Elantra.